Hey guys, in this video I'm gonna show you how to make a polyphonic pad in VCVRAC. So let's go and start with VCO. In this case I chose XCO from Book Audio. It's polyphonic and it has an awesome amount of features that we gonna use in this synth voice. And then I choose Vult Boomstick. It's a polyphonic filter, 7K filter from Vult. And I love this sound. It's so warm. Okay, let's connect mix output to the filter. As you can see, is a thick cable and this is polyphonic cable. Before that, don't forget to choose in right-click menu in MIDI CV module uh, amount of polyphony and I choose 8 voice of polyphony. So the next step I'm gonna add Vult Slap this is combined VCA and envelope generator in one module. And let's connect the polyphonic gate into gate input and output from the boomstick to VCA input. And let's connect uh, firstly view meter from book audio as for a stereo splitter here. And we need to something that will convert a polyphonic cable to stereo. I prefer to use a Sprit module from Stock Audio. It works awesome, it has a nice stereo feature that I use for spreading voice around a panorama and let's hear what's happened here. So now it's far from bad sound and just short attack as a default uh, preset in slap. So let's tweak it further. By the way, I use a Key B1 MIDI controller on my iPad. It's awesome app and I use it with a, a Studio Mux app for Windows that allows to send MIDI signals through the Windows. And both app is just I want to have a portable controller. Let's add a plateau, reverberator and adjust dry wet controls. Also keep in mind uh, that you need to set a both dry wet a little bit quieter. Otherwise you can get uh, such kind of saturation or distortion. And yeah, now it's pretty closer to polyphonic pad. Let's adjust a boomstick. Oh, you can hear now a little bit of saturation, so let's make it quieter. Let's adjust our XEO oscillator from Buck Audio and I'm gonna tweak uh, filter by velocity. In my controller it's up and down. Variation as you can see in the screen. So upper position will reproduce a high velocity and down a lower. So in the polyphonic patch, uh, each voice can be controlled by this own uh, velocity value. Uh, and I'm gonna use pitch well kind of modulation. This controller is like in 
MP, I believe. So you can touch the slider and make some vibrator by your finger. And I use a VM input in XEO and turn it into linear FM. It's just awesome to make a vibrate sound and let's add amp from Bok Audio to increase the value of this modulation. Let's add polyscope and see what's going on in velocity, spectrum. As you can see velocity is changed and it has uh, some um, gate behavior and I'm gonna use slew limiter from stock audio. It's a polyphonic slew limiter with bunch of settings and you will get some kind of slew velocity variations which is perfect to use it in a bad polyphonic patch you will get slew changes in the parameters you apply this velocity control let's apply it to pulse suite modulation in XCO and also I believe for phase so higher velocity will reproduce um, tiny pulse width and will modulate uh, phase in uh, pulse wave as well. Let's apply to the volume so it can act as a volume modulation as well and to the filter of course. Sounds good. Let's add elephant modulation and it gonna modulate a stereo wide so you can get unpredictable changes of voices in terms of panning. Okay, the next step I'm gonna use uh, attenuator. This tiny attenuator that replicates AS attenuator, I believe, but it's a polyphonic. And I'm gonna use ADSR modulation output from SLAP and it invert it to allow XEO control the parameter below the attenuator settings in XEO. So let's try direct ADSA modulation to sine wave phase and mix. Okay, let's try to attenuate some. Shoot down the scale and up offset. And as you can hear, the result is quite different from direct ADSR modulation. Let's apply ADSR to sawtooth wave. Sound became a huge, a little bit huge. Okay, the next step I'm gonna use a mod wheel from my controller and mono modulation cable allow to control uh, whole voices 
in exact model you gonna use and in this case I use boomstick an upper valley of mod wheel modulation uh, will down uh, cut off all the filter so the opposite what velocity do in 3 1 input Okay, let's add some kind of sub oscillator. I'm gonna use two S8 modules from 23 volts and FM operator from Bock Audio. And octave model from VCV. Let's add a first one from 1 volt per octave and as well as gate. Let's activate a level to apply internal ADSR in the FM operator. And next thing we need to do is uh, make um, reset mode of polyphony so the first note you will be play is will be on the first polyphony output and uh, in that terms it will be a sub bass oscillator triggered to mix it i'm gonna use four mix from Nusti. and like that So the first note you play on your controller will be apply a sub oscillator to this exactly note. It's pretty nice feature here. Also, we can modulate an attack. So the lower velocity value will stay at offset attack position as a main knob, and higher velocity value will start a little bit later. So in that way, we involve a bit lusher sound. So let's add a bit of saturation. I love Shaper module from um, Squinky Labs. And emitter couplet mode is what I like most, mostly. So it's just glue all of voices and oscillators we have in the patch and let's add a chorus from Nusti make it a more bit lusher here we need to tweak mix knob to not lose the as sub bass here We can reverb a bit.
And so the last module I'm gonna add here is a multi-client equalizer to completely tweak the finish sound of the patch. Let's increase the low end and a little bit of low mid frequencies. This method you can make your own dream pad sound in this rack as well as bass, lead, whatever you want, drums. And you can get this patch on my Patreon if you want to support my channel for future videos, future ideas, this rack ideas. So, thank you for watching and see you later, guys.